Green River. That's Bobby. Hey, everybody. Welcome <laughs> back to the channel. Big Mike here. Terry. Hey, guys. Look at that. Look at that. The other channel for me and Jason over at right, White Rock Homestead. Yeah. Got those made up. His is in the mail. Glenda got one. And Glenda's getting one, too. She was our first guest on that channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to that channel, hey, go over there and check it out. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to it. Uh, it's just two old crusty veterans talking about military stuff. Um, and it's been fun so far. Yeah. I absolutely love that. You guys, they, they do the live. And then they like talk for an hour and a half afterwards or something. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Yeah, it's but it's, it's it's therapeutic. Good. It is to talk to another vet like that. It so, really yeah, uh, different branches, same game. <laughs> so yeah, hey, we're glad you guys are here. Now, have you seen Lila Newton? Yeah, I saw her in the chat earlier. Was she? Was she handing out cookies? She, she was because she couldn't even guess her own channel's name. That's sad. Wow. That's so so sad. the secret channel guys was Lila Newton. Now, a couple of things you don't know about Lila Newton, okay? Paul, Paul got it right. She is a Navy vet. She was a cook in the Navy, and that's why we call her Cookie. That's right. Okay? So, Lila Newton is the creator of her channel. Uh, she has 226 uh, subscribers. She has no videos. <laughs> she has no views. But she has three playlists of her favorite stuff. She does. And guess what? Empty Homestead's not on there at all. I take issue with this. Not at all. Jared's on there. Jared's on there. Uh, uh, heard that. Heard that's on there. On there. But Mike what and Terry. What the heck, Lila? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Anyway, yeah, we, we love Lila we Newton. Do. <laughs> She's a great moderator. A great moderate. friend. And right. hopefully we get to see her soon. Hopefully. Yes. In real life. In living color, if you will. Well, we've seen her. There before. you go. So then on the family board behind us yeah. there is Carolyn Clank, a.k.a. Mama Carol. You've seen her in the chats? Mama Carolyn. Carolyn. I'm sorry. Mama Carolyn. Um, and she is absolutely awesome. And if she's in here or she watches this, then yes, we are going to, on our merch store, put this t-shirt on our merch store. We're working on it. Um, I had a guy redo the logo so you can stretch it out. Yeah. And uh, we're going to use that one for the t-shirts. And... For the coffee cups, guys. For the coffee my cups. Mine has lipstick on it. There you go. Nice. And we support veterans. Right. It's on the back. And if you're going to the 10 Killer Meetup, I'm giving Johnny and them uh, uh, some cups, probably about 10 cups to give away to a lucky winner. Yep. There you go, guys. So I hope to we'll see you guys at the 10 Killer Meetup. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, okay? So that is on the family board. Both of them are part of our family, make them part of your family. That's right. Yes. So, guys, Terry, who's in the chat? So, Joe Fix It For You was in here bright and early. There you go. Oh, wait. Who got the – who I, guessed it first? I said Paul. Paul Honeyman. Paul got it, right? Look at you on the J-O-B. He knew Lila Newton. Yeah, Lila didn't know. Rebecca was in here this morning. There you go. Ricky Giovannucci was hello, in Hello, hello. Jonathan Alejas was here. All right. One day at a time, Farmstead got Lila. And then Lila couldn't even figure out her own name. No. She did hand out a bunch of cookies. Though. She did. Yeah. And Hovita popped in at 349. Hey. <laughs> and said hi. Uh, looks like. She came back in here around 7.30-ish. Yeah, 7.31. Uh, let's see. Jerry Butler Family Farm. Hey. And oh, they went all the way to Georgia to Black's Tropicals oh, uh, yeah. home, Homestead's yeah. uh, meetup. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I wish we could have made it for that. Yep. Uh, Stewie. Hi, Stewie. Stewie's from Texas, isn't he? He says, hey, from South Texas, where the wind is blowing so hard that I've got trees down everywhere. Mm. I'll be out there for days cleaning this mess. Yeah. We we feel you. 
up here in Oklahoma, the wind comes sweeping through the plains. So, yep. yeah. And it always comes up from Texas. <laughs> and we have a pecan tree. Yeah. That likes to drop limbs everywhere. There you go. Um, Dana, sending prayers for you and Tim. That didn't look like very good news. Oh, wait, wait. We heard some news um, today that uh, Brenda at Freedom Redbird. Yes. Her husband has passed. Yes. So prayers for her and yes. her family. And the whole family, yes. yes. And also prayers for Susie Jacobson, who yes. was, she went back in the hospital the other day. Um, she had. Uh, well, I don't think she left the hospital. They moved her up to the no, ICU. She was out. Oh, was she? And then she went septic. And so she went back into the hospital and they had, they had put a, uh, they had intubated her and sedated her just so she could rest and yeah. heal. And that seemed, seemed to be working because her lungs are starting to clear up. She seems to be going in the right direction. Yes. So continued prayers for her. We love her very much. Yeah. So, yes. Hey, there's the Oki Ranch wife. All right. All right. Hello, hello. Mary Official TV, new member. Hello. All right. And there is Husky Edna also. Hello, hello. She's not a new member, but she's renewed her membership. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, let's see. R&W Farmstead, Tony Walsh. Hello. There is Jesse and the lovely Lisa. Yes. Saying hello, everybody. Everybody. And Maggie Creech. Mel and Gary did not go live tonight. Yes. They were... They had, they're had getting rained on, and they're just beat tired. They're, they're done. They, they and as it. Mel said, we're cuddling up together. Uh, yeah, they, they were going to get cozy and, and right. have a night off. So good for them. They need that. Yes. Um. Let's see. Jovita Navarro was saying hello to everybody. Hey, there's Leanne Gunther, and we got her we got your Easter card. card. We finally checked our we, mailbox. We did. Thank you, Leanne. Yes, thank you very that much. Was very sweet of you. Um, Thunder, Thunderstick Homestead, Bowen's Hey, here. Bowen, hey. There's Gillum Farms. Hi, Johnny. Johnny's in the house. Here's Johnny. So, Oki Ranch Wife's a banquet of consequences said, Hello, chat. I'm a new subscriber. Well, All right. Welcome in. We welcome you. And making it homes here. Hey, there's Sergeant's Talk TV. <laughs> I wonder who that's, that that's is. That's freaky. <laughs> I wonder who that is, Jason. Yeah, that's Jason over at White Rock Homestead. Mike's battle buddy. That's my battle buddy. All right. And we also, let's see. And oh. if you haven't subscribed to Jason's channel, Sergeant's Talk TV, please go over there and do that. Yes. There's a yes. shameless plug. Yes. Huh? See, you're not self-promoting. You're <laughs> promoting Jason. That's right. All right. And if you haven't gone over and subscribed to White Rock Homestead, do that as well. There's Rainy Ridge. Hey, Rainy Ridge. Paul Honeyman says hello again from England. All right. Uh, hello, Tim Mason. And like I said, we are saying prayers for you as well. Yes, we are. Um, Nunya, Texas on the back. Hey, phone. Jake. It's Jake. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, there's White Rock Homestead. <laughs> hey, Tara's here. That's right. Um, let's see. There's Bobby at Petty Jean River Homestead. See, I told her she has to do that from now on. He was in the middle of trying to say your name whenever I clicked the I go didn't. live button. So. Yeah. Um, hey, there's Treasure Hunter Neil. Hi, Neil. Grown's Family Farm. Hello, hello. There is Liza Devera. Hello, Liza. Hey, look, there's Rochelle, Brampton Gardner. All right. Hi, Rochelle. She's going to... She's going to buy uh, Dexter a keyboard and get, get him piano lessons. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was my suggestion. Anyway. Yeah. How do you say that? Is that Rick's channel? Rick, Rick's channel. All huh? right. Came over from Husky Edna. There you go. Heather Hopper, hello. Uh, Lila Newton said, I love this show. <laughs> we were just giving Hey, there's time. Amanda Dahl. Hello, hello. Peaceful Dez is here. Hi, Dez. There's Angie. Angie. The heart cabin in the woods. Angie. Felix, Denmark. Hello. The best VA doc nurse in the whole wide okay, is it, world. Is it morning over in Denmark? Yet? They're eight hours ahead of us. That's Eight or nine. It's kind of morning. 
Yep. Guten morning. Hey, there's Mickey at Critter Creek. Hello, Mickey. Troy Sutton's here. There's Anna De Vera. Anna She's De Vera. And Anna De Vera. Yeah. There you go. James Hall's in here also. Hello. There's Rayleigh Creative Travel. And there's Ed Kirkpatrick. The storyteller. That's right. He's listening while he does his taxes. I did quarterly taxes yesterday. Dude. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Cut it close, brother. We did ours just so we could give them the money we owe yeah. them. <laughs> we, uh, we owed them everything we made off YouTube. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> Wrote a big check, guys. <laughs> Not that big, but you no, know. but it, it was a good, yeah. It was hurt. It was, it was hurting for certain. Yeah. There's Peter at Old Man King. All right. Austin Stone Mock. Hey. Hello, Austin. Uh, Brian over at the Vineyard Farmhouse. Brian is having open mic again tonight. All right. At nine o'clock after we so go is off the Brian's evening. doing karaoke tonight <laughs> on his open mic. I don't, I don't know. Or is he saying, I reciting guess, poetry. Maybe. He looks like a guy that could write poetry. You think? Yeah. Eh, maybe. Ode to the Grape. Something. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Cindy, downtown Cindy Brown. Hi, Cindy. There she is. Always All like the way seeing, from Cali. I always like seeing Cindy. Yeah. <laughs> Hiking with Jackie boys in here. Hello, Kevin. There's Webb's Web. Webb's Web. Hey, there's Lori at LG Homestead. Hey. And I'm only nine minutes in from her saying howdy. All right. There's Beth Cornette. There's Tiffany from Canadian Family Life. All right. Did you say hi to Miriam Bimler? I did not. Oh, Husky Edna sent a $14.99 Australian super chat. Said, thank you, dear friend Mike and Terry, for always supporting. God bless. Well, thank you for thank always you. supporting us as well. We appreciate yes. you very much. Um, let's see. DJ's Adventures and Beyonds here. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, <laughs> said, oops. Hey, there's Miss Ann Dale. Hello, from Miss Ann Dale Miss Homestead. Ann Dale. All right. Judy Herman, this is the second one of our lives she's been able to watch. Well, All right. thank you for watching. Thank you. There's Glenn and Shannon's Salty Life. Yes, the salt. I'm probably going to start repeating you now because I'm getting down here. <laughs> Lori Larkin, did you say hi to Lori? To who? Lori Larkin. I did not. Well, Lori. There's Mary Yahoo. Yahoo! <laughs> there she is. Let's see. I got that from another channel when she was in there. I was in there. Mm -hmm. And the uh, host on that one, I mean, every That's time she sees her name, she, yeah. it, she says it that yeah. way. <coughs> I had a sneeze attack, and it hurt my vocal cords. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Hey, there's Tracy Michael. Hi, Tracy Michael. <laughs> now that you can't say her name. 52. <coughs> wow. We're doing well. How are you, Tracy? Oh. Let's see. Melinda. Wow, Hobson's that was here. bad. Hey, Melinda. Maybe I shouldn't talk. <laughs> Maybe not. There. Oh, wait. I can't even see this. I ain't got it. Oh, I'm going to wear my glasses. Irene Malino, Mal Mal Malino, and, and Boss Boo Boy. Oh, okay. I've seen them before. We're we're subscribed to them. I couldn't see it because it was the red and all mm. that stuff was in there. I couldn't see. Did you say hi to Linda Peterson. I did not. Hi, Linda. Hey, there's Living in Abundant Grace Homestead. Hey. Hey, last video, I got it right. He did. I finally got your I channel was, right. I was proud of him. Yeah. Everybody go check out Amy over at Living in Abundant Grace Homestead. Hey, there's Fox Cat Gameplay. Hello. Did you say hi to Irene Turner? Did you just skip over? Oh, she was above the other Irene. <laughs> Irene Turner's in here also, hi. guys. Mm. Gr Groans Family Farm. Yes, making it home said if anyone is a mind to do so, they could use a hand to reach their goal of watch hours and subscribers. And they say thank you kindly in advance. So yeah. making it home? Yeah, making right. it home. Go check them out. We it's will put channel. your playlist on tonight before we go to bed. That's right. I'll wake up and I'll go, hey, who's talking? Who's talking? Someone's in the house. <laughs> Grab the pew pews. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm down here. You say hi to Kelly? No, I did not. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> no, yes, I did. At Rebel at Heart? I did. Okay. I could, I didn't, but sure. How about Tish? I did not. Hi, Tish. No hey. judgment here with Tish Ross. There is Red Nixican. Nexican. Red Nexican. A Red Nexican. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Red Nexican. Let's see. Terry's teaching me English. Oh, guys. cool. Lori's going to probably be at Ten Killer. Are you going to be where we can't find you again? Now, or? I don't want to hear this. Uh, I'll did, probably oh, just come wait, down no. for the day. No. <clears throat> no. And then later on, she tells us, hey, something came up. <laughs> um, no, what, it, what it'll be is. There was a tornado somewhere in no. America. It'd be like, oh, you guys didn't stay long. We were there for four days. <laughs> Love you, Lori. Uh, we always got to do that to Lori. We got to pick on Lori just because we love her. She mm -hmm. wouldn't think we loved her if we didn't. There is John. John goes fishing and hunting. All right. Is that the same John one as fish, John yes. Fish and Honey? Yes. Well, he, now he's going fishing. Yes. Or he's done gone fishing. He, he, yeah. And hunting. Yeah. All right. There's Marco Torres. Hello, Marco. Full-blown country. Hey, Pooch. Melvin Don here. Man, that was a good gift he got from Troy, oh wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. The I'm branding jealous. iron. I'm so jealous. I ain't got one of them. No, but we can't complain too much because Troy sent down a whole grill set to give away last year. So. Yeah, but I had to give it away. Well, he's, Pooch gets to keep this one. He sent other things. Well, you've got a triangle thing. Yeah. We've never called anybody to dinner with it. <laughs> but I like it. Cool. And you won some kind of hook thing, didn't I, you? I did. Yeah. Really? Uh, Love Troy. Hey, Virginia Alexander. Hello. Hello, Virginia. <clears throat> okay, you're going to have to help me with this one, too. Lynn. Come here. Nagweet. Lynn. Lynn. Nagweet. I guess. I don't know. Team Ohio. There you go. Lynn the Oki. <laughs> Lynn the Oki. This is a Lynn kind of thing. <clears throat> now I'm doing it. Yep. What'd you give me? I don't know, but when I was sneezing my throat, I thought I, I <clears throat> tore something. I think he brought this. Hey, seat. there's Leanne Buchka. Elaine. Elaine. I said, what did I say? <laughs> Didn't I say Elaine? No. Everybody raise your hand if I said Elaine. You said Leanne. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Elaine Buchka. <laughs> Wow. There's Mary Official TV. Hello. All right. Hello. Oh, let's see. There is Jello. <laughs> Villarico admin team Karen Suzuki from Husky Edna. All right. All right. These are some long names. Yes. They're, they're, they're just trying. There are friends from all over the world, guys. <laughs> Rain Sun. Hello. <laughs> Mm. All right. Did you see Mary Official TV? I did. All right. We said it twice now. We have. Yeah. Um, and I'm down at the bottom with full blown country. All right. And there is Elaine Elaine Buchka. <laughs> it's okay, Mike. I'm <laughs> sure I know my name sometimes. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Wow. Hey, James Hall. Hey, Ginger Snaps in here. Hi, Not for nothing, Homestead. Oh, you and she goes me. live on Thursday tomorrow. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, because she comes on after White Rock Nation comes on, right? Mm -hmm. It's Johnny, White Rock, Homestead, then Not for Nothing, and then Dale and Lisa up at Nine Acre Family Farm. All right. All right. Are you sure? Man, look at that. You Tell you guys, not tomorrow. just a hat rack. <laughs> Troy Sutton, hello. Oh, okay. What's that? Right. Tim said he isn't completely bottomed out laughing out. He just doesn't feel good after this round. I see. Okay. Tim. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Mason. Yeah. Making it home. Debbie Droff, she's in here. Hello, Debbie. Did we say hi to Heather Lansker? 
I don't. Oh, know. hello at Coffee Chat with the Chickens. Isn't that their talking show yeah, over at White Rock? It is. Okay, see? It is. Shirley De La Cruz, she's in here. I'm just trying to go back. There's Joe Joe Jacobson from Eastern Iowa. All right. He said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a keyboard and learn how to type." Well, you know what? They don't kids. I don't know because they're raised up on a keypad all the time. Because when I, when I was in seventh grade, I took I took typing one. Then in eighth grade, I took typing two on the old Smith Corona. You know, you had to go chink, 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 chink. Um, and then that's how I learned how to type. And then they told me, hey, here's a little square box. Now only use your thumbs. Man, these big old thumbs. When I spell words, man, sometimes it's horrible. Cindy Brown said, I can't chat much. I'm shoveling. What are you shoveling? <laughs> I keep shoveling. <laughs> what, what, not shoveling. Is she shov shoveling snow or cleaning stalls? I don't know what she's doing. She's shoveling something. She's mucking out something. I don't know. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, I, I was going to say, speaking of kids. Oh, since Ginger Snap just came in and she's in charge of the giveaway prizes. Mm -hmm. There's a man. We're knows. giving you some of these too, Ginger. <clears throat> We're giving you some of these uh, Sergeant Talk TV mugs to give away also. Yeah. So write that in your little book, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you dang. Team Lucky. Hello. All right. Um, so I was I was gonna say, speaking of kids, yeah, we were watching YouTube the other day, imagine that. And <laughs> we started watching this video of this kid interviewing kids at a college. Oh my gosh. It scared me. Guys, it truly scared me. He, th it was, it this, it was like forty-five minutes long. This video, and they were in Georgia. It was a college in Georgia, University of Georgia, somewhere. And he was asking him questions. Excuse me, ma'am. What is eighty-eight plus twenty-two? A hundred. A hundred. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Is that right? I oh, mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Holy smokes. Or the one that said, what was it, 88 plus 22, 78? Yeah, 78. Yeah, I'm going. I, and he I kept doing this. Scared. It was part of his social, some social class he was oh. doing. And it kept going, and it kept going. And I'm going, he must be on the side of the school where all the dumb kids go. That's not nice. I don't <laughs> care. That is true. Okay, they were, here's one. They were not name name three countries, and this is what happened. Name three countries other than the United States. Um, Europe, China, Africa? Africa, yeah. yeah. What? Uh, I mean, it went on and on, and it just amazes me. These people. These, these are the kids that will be in charge of our lives. Yeah. These, I mean. And every one of them wanted to grab their phone and check it right away. I'll give you an answer in a minute. So to be fair, I called my daughter. Yeah. Immediately I asked her, what is 88 plus 22? And she immediately answered, 110. Without even So I had pausing. some faith back in in. In the yeah, but she's in her 30s. People. These kids are 18, 19, 20-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was sad, guys. You get it. If you go on YouTube, you got nothing to do, go in there and check that out. <laughs> it's crazy. They're, they're all over the in interwebs, and it's crazy how dumb people are. Lone Cross MTP. Hello. All right. Uh, let's see. Carter Creek said, dig that cup, Mike. Texas born. Here's Mule Shoe. All right. Let's see. What else have I missed? Because I got off on a tangent. It is. So... Just so scary. It, it was very, very scary. Are you at the bottom? So... Hey, there's Lone Cross. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's Life with Belinda and Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck's here. Hi, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, 
coffee chat with the chickens. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wearing that shirt. Big Mike has an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't fake stupid. Oh, cool. Dana Mason says there's 40 guys from Homeland Security there watching watching us. Hi, guys. Hey! <laughs> Glad you guys could watch us. That's right. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed to MT Homestead or Sergeants, or Sergeants Talk TV, yeah. go over there and do that. We welcome you guys. That's right. Yeah. They serve and protect. Yep. And if you so. need me to talk to your boss or anything like that, give me his phone number and I'll give him a call. For what? Biden. I'll talk to him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to the guy. Let's All right, so there you go. Oh, red Mexican says yes, half redneck and half Mexican. <laughs> there you go. Now it makes sense. Yeah, well, Lori said, "Y'all full of it." Hey, there's okay. Kenfo Farms. We Hope are. everything's going good for you. Yes. Oh man, we heard the news too. Yeah, that was mm. not good. No, not good at all. But it sounds like you guys are recovering. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Delvita said, Terry, for what? <laughs> what, being sorry? And, yeah, and I'm going to tell know. you something. That's one thing we didn't skip on was home insurance. No. Dude, man. But of course, a lot of people now, they can't even get insurance. Yeah. Because insurance. Yeah. <laughs> I used to work for an insurance company. So. Yes, you did. <clears throat> um, but anyway, we put out a video on Monday. We did. Um, it was a... It was just under eight minutes. Yeah. Um, and we showed everybody uh, David C. Rabbit. Yes. Um, and we migrated the quail together. Uh, so we did that video right there. Uh, Terry was down in Waco visiting uh, Brittany. I was. And having fun down there. So you went and visited David. <laughs> I, went and, I went and delivered telephone poles to David on Friday. There you go. Um, he, he needed them. He's got a project coming up. I said, brother, I'll do you a solid, and I drove him down there, and uh, man, I got to one point, guys. It was on the road um, when you you know where we turn at the Shell station, and it's just short drive to go into Arkansas right there. Mm -hmm. And I was going down that road. All of a sudden, I must have been like the second car behind this when this happened, um, and all of a sudden, there's two cars. Um, and it's like they're, they're, one was turned in here and one was turned in there like this. I don't know if you can see that. And I go, what the heck is getting out? All of a sudden, here comes a police car over the hill coming from Arkansas because we're already on the Arkansas side, right? Mm -hmm. And what had happened was <laughs> what had happened? something happened. It, I don't know who was over the, the, the double yellow line, but they hit doors and the damage, the front door on one and the back door on this one car was just ripped totally off. And then the other one only was a two door and his door was ripped off. And then it was all crunched in all the way back to the back quarter panel. Neither one of them hurt, but it was, it, they, they hit so hard going by each other. It ripped all the doors off those vehicles. That's crazy. Crazy. That is and crazy. neither one of them was hurt at all. Well, I saw something wild on my way back. But they sat there. They were sitting there on the side of the road, like going, what in the shock. heck just yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. Now, I saw something on the way back from Texas. I I, I had just gotten oh. on to the North Dallas toll. If you've been to North Dallas tolls, hey, crazy. Isn't that one of your Chiefs players got yeah, in trouble mm -hmm. there? Anyway. Rice? Yeah. Anyway, Rashid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had just gotten on. I was doing about 70. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this crotch rocket come flying by Man. me, zipping in and out down the line between two cars. And, like, I was standing still. He went so fast past yeah. me. I, my stomach was doing flip flops watching yeah. this because I'm thinking I am going to get up here and find this poor kid crashed on the side of the road. Luckily, I didn't see him crashed, 
But I did see the cop that got him pulled over, yeah. so that's good. Good. Yeah. They should impound that bike, take oh his God. license. It was so bad. It, putting everybody was, at risk like that. Yeah. Hey, Jesus Girl, a.k.a. Julie A's here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, not Gather only, together homesteads here. Not only do they put themselves in huge danger doing that, but... Everybody else. Everybody else, because then people are hitting their brakes and, you know, freaking out because they see this bike come flying by. Yep. Yeah. Hey, there's O'Rourke's Little Field. Yeah, O'Rourke said, I hate Dallas traffic. Oh, man. It, you know, it doesn't. Carrie, Carrie hates it. She did a video about how much she hates Dallas traffic. It doesn't bother <clears throat> me too bad, usually. I mean, things like that, but that's anywhere. Yeah. Basically, any city, you can see stuff like that. But, no, Dallas doesn't bother me after Korea. Hey, there's Pacquiao. Hello, Pacquiao. Hello, hello. Tony's in here? Yes. You said hi to Tony. Hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed to Pacquiao down there, write that name down. Uh, I'm over here moving the cursor like they can he, see it, right? He always does this. He's but like uh, Pacquiao, you guys got to go over there and check her out. Subscribe to her channel. Yeah. Awesome supporter, guys. Awesome. Yep. Kawita took typing in high school, freshman yep. year. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my typewriters in, in junior high school were Smith Coronas. And you imagine you got 30 students sitting side by side and they give you a thing. Uh, uh, they all they, they hand it out and you have to type these pages and all it is click, 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 click. Yeah. Oh, and I just saw Paul. Paul just reminded me. I saw where Cindy said what she was eating, but now I don't remember what it was. But oh, Paul, she was shoveling. She was shoveling. Okay. Okay. There yeah, we go. I got it now. We understand. Yes. <laughs> Yes, she said I was shoveling food in my face. <laughs> oh, Lone Cross said I took writing, so typing was part of the class. No, Paul said, uh, really big mic from that video. I got the feeling that Terry hates you driving in the city traffic. No, I don't like driving. I, I hate driving through Dallas. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just... I think I've done it so much now. That I think I think there's more people from Texas get they get tickets in Oklahoma. As soon as a cop sees a white plate, it's like that's all I see pulled over on the road is Texas plates because it's like speed limit side. We don't need no stinking speed limit signs. And they just I mean, you go through like Savannah, mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma, and it says 40. You better be doing 40. Right. And then zip straight through there, 55, 60. But, but as soon as they get into Texas. Then they all of a sudden, hey. They're not even doing the speed limit yeah. anymore. It's like, it's like they're afraid of the, you know. I don't know. Anyway. Magnificent Germany with Darians in here. Hello, Darian. How you doing, brother? Uh, Lila, if you were to fly to Tin Killer, where would you fly into? You would have to fly into either Fort Smith Fort Tulsa. or Tulsa. Yeah. Fort Smith's yeah. closer, yeah. probably by a bit. Because um, then you just got to get on 40 and then take the exit to yeah. over to 10 Killer. Yeah. Instead of coming from all the way through Tulsa traffic <laughs> from the north. Jason, Jason said, hey, mathing is hard. <laughs> Math is just, hey, TNT's in here. How you doing, Tracy? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yep, oh, we didn't tell him we lost Splash, did we? No. Yeah, I heard little, only white mm -hmm. uh, and spotted uh, Olivator. Um, she, I don't know what she was going through. I don't know. Every once in a while, they just kind of get sick and... The only one. Yeah. And that's my thing. As long as none of the other chickens get sick, I'm not too... And she's rather little unless yeah, unless FDR hurt her somehow. Yeah. I don't know. Because <clears throat> she just kind of slowly slowed down and... I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. I really liked her, though. So it was a bummer. Yeah. Beautiful green eggs. Yeah. Beautiful. She did. She looked, she looked really nice green <clears throat> eggs. Hey, there's Tony at our cabin in the woods. I, I, He's in here. I said that. I know, but I like Tony. We both like Tony. But I wanted to say it. 
because he's married to Hey, Reverend Dream, he's in here. We both like Tony because he's married to Andy. See, the Reverend's saying hello to Jesus girl. All right. Isn't that appropriate? That is very appropriate. <laughs> Uh, Our Oki yeah. Homestead, Marie's Cindy, in here. Cindy said, every time I see a video like that, I check my kids too. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> make sure they're not all just, the public school system is bad. But yeah. Yeah. And I think they're, they're some guy, these states are catching on. Because Louisiana now have a bill that's going through their Congress, their state. A house right now on uh, school choice. Mm -hmm. Arizona has been a school choice for, for the long longest time. time. In fact, when we moved to Arizona in 2009, right, my sister calls me and says, hey, um, do you want to send your tax dollars to our school? Um, I said, well, I would, but I got two kids going to school at Buena Vista right. High School. Right. And she goes, oh, I didn't know you brought the kids with you. I said, why wouldn't we bring <laughs> the kids with us? They were still in high school. And so uh, she goes, oh, because there you can live anywhere in the state. And let's say you live in, like we did, Sierra Vista, Arizona, and you don't have any kids. So your school tax that you pay, um, you, can, you can pinpoint – where you want it to go. So all my, my nieces and nephew were going to Higley High School to a charter school. So you can take that money and give it to a charter school in the state of Arizona if you want. The bad schools, they just start closing down. Because people, when you do that, they get their kids out of there. There's no boundaries in the state of Arizona. Now, if, if where you live, the bus route doesn't go there, you have to drive them to the nearest bus stop or you have to take them to school every day. That's the, that's, that's reality, right? right. They're not going to go out of their way and spend more money, even though they want your kids to come there. So there's some great schools out there and you get to select when you don't get a selection, you're stuck with what you got. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's some positive things to school choice. You're welcome, Tony. <laughs> and because because I said we like Tony because he's married to Angie. <laughs> yeah, because he's married to Angie, um, and she takes care of veterans. And I've missed names, but what Bella's Whisper Farmstead? Hello. Uh huh. Um, you have to scroll back up because I'm not going to scroll down yet. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I saw someone else in there too. Oh, Darian said that spaghetti ice turned fifty. Five? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Reverend Dream said he loves the shirt. Hello to Jesus Girl, Julie. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I had my first spaghetti ice in 1980. 1980 from a little Italian ice cream parlor in Lomsheim, Germany. And I tasted that for the first time with the, with the raspberry topping on it. Blew my mind. I I kind of want to make it. I think I could. I think I could. Well, I mean, I guess you could. Because I've got a Spetzel press. I could just. Yeah, but that it ain't gonna turn out right. You got to have a good stream of it going. Well, I'll figure it out. There's. Oh, I know. You could just put it through the uh, the the what you call it your KitchenAid in the pan. Put the ice cream in there and. Yeah. Shove it through there. Let's see. I don't know. Um, It'll probably melt it Gen off. Ginger said, Mike, if I want to watch something dumb, I'll go watch my chickens. <laughs> hey, there's Radio Join J Joinsy, Joinsy on uh, tour. Are you from Jonesy Joinsy? on tour. Hey, I didn't know. Did you know there there's a thing called a surf boat? Surf boat. No. Yeah, it's a big, long thing, and it takes you out on the waves to get past the breaks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I said, they're still using them today mm -hmm. down in Tasmania. You said hi to Evelyn Newman, yes? I did. Um, I saw... Uh-oh, what was that? Something else. What out and about with Dave and Daisy, $20 Super oh. Chat Homeless Veteran Fund. That's right. right. Thank you. 
Uh, we have a, uh, a shelter here in McAllister that has a veteran section for homeless veterans. And we, we are donating all the money for it the homeless veterans fund to go to that. Yes. Uh, there, um, they're trying, they, they're trying to, uh, put on an extension, uh, for storage because th they have stuff stored where everybody sleeps and stuff. Mm. They don't have enough room. The building was donated to that charity and stuff like that. So right. anything we can do um, and the combat motorcycle association I belong to, that's one of the places we donate to also. Leanne Gunther, yes, I did have a good trip last week. So, yeah, yep. I went down, saw, saw Brittany, and what did we do? We didn't do a whole lot because she was sunburned. Crisp. <laughs> we just kind of had game night. And <laughs> yeah, pale skin people don't do well on their first burn. No. 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 That milky white skin. <laughs> <sighs> It's like burning fat in a in a in a pan on the stove. Oh, and I know what I forgot earlier when I was saying people needing prayers. Charles at Fallen Arkansas yes. Veterans went. He's going into hospice to manage pain management. Um, yeah, everybody, yes. please pray for him. Go over there, mm -hmm. give him some love. He he's a great guy. So yes, he is, and he did does so much for our veterans. Ah. White Rock Homestead gifted 10 MT Homestead memberships. There you go. Look at that. Thank you, guys. All right. And they're showing up, too. Yeah. James Hall, TNT, Butler Family Farm, Debbie Druck. Well, Butler, I think, was already in there. Debbie Druck, Virginia Alexander, Anabor. I was going to say hi to Anabor yes. earlier. Um, let's see. Hey, a little southern brother. Look, White Rock Homestead was gifted a membership by White Rock Homestead. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> No, I think they were already. They they were before. Yeah. Yeah. Melba and Tony. All them. right. Oh. Yeah, there's Donna, that little yes, a little southern Donna. brother. Hello, Donna. Yeah. Oh, Carolyn Clink is in here. Hey, Carolyn. You're on the board. You're on the board. You're you're part of the family. And if you weren't in here before, the uh, Sergeant's Talk TV shirt. Uh, we're going to place this on our merch store, Empty Homestead. It ain't up there yet, but it will be up there along with the coffee mugs. And uh, you can you can purchase one on there if you want to. I miss telling Lila goodnight. Her shoulder was starting to hurt. Oh, with the mouse thing? I guess. Yeah. Um, heard that. I just seen a heard that. I, I know I did. There it is. Heard that, Julie. Hi, Julie. I hope you're feeling better, darling. So you guys are coming to Ten Killer, I'm guessing. I hope. Then I get to see you. Yes, we already we already talked about uh, yeah, for Brenda. Uh, Brenda yeah. lost her husband. Yeah. At uh, Freedom Redbird. Yeah. Yes. Um. Let's see. R and W Farmstead. Tony Walsh said we got to welcome our son and over two hundred of his fellow soldiers from the Middle East last Wednesday. All right. He ate steak and drank beer for the four days we were there. That's all he wanted. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, yes. That's good to hear, though. So. Oh, O'Rourke's little field said Arkansas. Arkansas State Police don't play. You see those blue lights? Give it up. Yeah. Oh, we've seen plenty of videos. Oh, yeah. Of, yeah, high speed car chases, people thinking they're going to outrun them. And he wasn't giving up. He crossed into Oklahoma. He told the he told the dispatcher, yeah. You tell somebody I'm in Oklahoma. <laughs> I ain't giving up on this cat. Yeah. yeah. Pushed him right off the side of the road. Yeah. Oh, you remember that one that the, the guy was chasing in, in Arkansas? And they were from out of uh, Little Rock, mm -hmm. and it was a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And when they finally went off the road, it and crazy. it was all tinted windows and everything, there was seven teenagers in that Jeep Grand I'm Cherokee piling out. piling out. And he pulled his gun. He goes, "Try running, <laughs> try running right now." <laughs> they they all were sitting yeah. on the side of the road. They were skipping school and calling. He chased mamas. them all the way into Oklahoma. Calling your grandma months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes, uh, yes, you can pick up all these kids <laughs> over at the, the over Highway the Patrol Station. Yeah. 
There's gathered together homestead. Yeah. Let's see. Do dumb things, win dumb prizes. There you go. But the kid could drive. Uh, yeah, he was. He was the kid could drive. Mm-hmm. He was 18 with minors in the car. Mm-hmm. That ain't going over well. Half of them. Oh, I don't know him. <laughs> See, in, in places like Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, there's no no cash bail. You're getting out. You're staying your butt right there. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Where are we where are we at here? Oh, okay. What you're just okay. What? No, I know I was gonna say it. But uh, Paul Honeyman says, uh, I agree with Jesse that the shirt needs to be on OD green and a camouflage with black print. Yeah, we can do that. I want to be the billboard. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to be a billboard. Hey, there are Moran experiences in here. I said that I thought it would be cool on uh, OD green. You did too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cindy said BLTs with eggs, sautéed mushrooms, and brie on sourdough. That's what she was shoveling. That would be awesome. That does sound yeah. good. Let's uh, see. Hey, I'm almost caught up. Maybe. <laughs> now that we there only have like 14 minutes. John now. goes fishing and honey says I got my bow fishing rig set up finally. All right. There you go. Lynn Neoki said, the speed limit going into Arkansas from Oklahoma, you need to watch it because the speed lessens when you get into Arkansas. One of my family members got stopped in Oklahoma and Arkansas. And, um, yep. Ginger Snap, we're going to give away five uh, coffee cups. Sergeant's uh, top. Yes, and we're bringing... N- we're bringing nine of the... Tumblers, 30 ounce tumblers. Yes. Engraved tumblers also were for bringing. MT. Yeah. Yes. I think we told her that uh, before. Can, can we just like throw stuff in at the end if we find something? Or is this like you got to have it ahead of time? So she wants to make the list. Oh. That's why she needed to know. Okay. And Johnny doesn't want to give away stuff for three hours. Oh, Lori. I got Lori said I got to go. All right. Might be at 10 killer and I might not. Depends on stuff. Uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lori. What's this say? Um Oki Ranch Wife says, Great live. I see you next Monday. Wednesday. I need to get back to my canning. I have a wonky freezer that I don't trust to keep stuff frozen. Been canning since Saturday. Wow. Wow. There you go. Well, you have fun canning. That's right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, our Oki Homestead. I love my MT Homestead uh, coffee mug. All right, cool. We got a few of those left Eating over right. too, but we'll just hand those out. I don't want to interfere with the yeah. three-hour giveaway. No. <laughs> Where's everybody gonna go? See, Angie said thank you <laughs> for what for saying that we like Tony. <laughs> oh, we do. We like Tony <laughs> because he's he's married, married to you. Angie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he's not in here, but happy birthday to Mike with a Y over at Fowler Family Farm. That's right. So if Mike you, with a Y. If you happen to know him, go over there on their channel. Yep, Sherman Family Tell Farm. Happy from, oh, sure. I'm I'm looking at Sherman Family Farm, and I should have said Fowler Family Farm. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Guys, I'm telling you, <laughs> this old stuff sucks. <laughs> It does. Uh, it sincerely does. Yeah, but yeah, we had a great I, we had we had a great week. I mean, yeah. work the inter- government internet is man, <laughs> it drives me insane. We're going over to a new way of doing things, and it is all dorked up. And then he comes home, and he tries to get on. His computer here, and it, the internet goes wonky on that one too. And I don't know why. I have tried and tried to figure that out. I wanted to say, Terry, open up that front door. I'm tossing this thing. <laughs> he gets all grumpy, like ah, <laughs> stupid computer. And then I told her, Hey, I've got homework I got to do. <laughs> oh yeah. So then, 
<laughs> he's like, oh, well, I need to do this flyer on Canva. And he brings it up and he's like messing with it going. Mm -hmm. So he knows yeah. I have OCD yeah. and that I'm going to take over yeah. and make the dang flyer for him. Yeah. It's kind of like, remember I talked about the man code? Mm -hmm. The man code dictates that um, if you're helping your spouse out doing laundry, ensure that you screw it up so bad that she never asks you to do it again. Yeah. Same thing goes for the dishes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The same thing goes for mopping floors. Okay. Restrict yourself to outside duties only. So we know that. Yep. Okay. We do it on purpose. <laughs> so you never ask know. us to do it we again. We know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lazy days ahead. And so if you say, oh, I forgot to take the trash can out. If you do that like a you know few dozen times, then she starts taking it out mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Out to the road. Yeah. I forgot. I leave at 4.30 in the morning. I, I forgot. I, yeah. Anyway, ten, Lazy Days Ahead said, 10 killer raffle, 36-inch Blackstone, four-burner griddle must be present to win. That's right. So there you go. Reason to go if you want to have a chance to win that Blackstone. That's right. Or you could just go because you want to see everybody and enjoy the company. I'm bringing my Blackstone. Yeah. Well, my nose is I may not cook on it, but it's there if somebody wants to cook on it. <laughs> Joe, Joe Jacobson, White Rock. Joe Jacobson saying White Rock Homestead. You might want to thank White Rock Homestead for the gifted membership. They, he said he was making a funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, we did say thank you. And and what? No. And White Rock said, not sure why that happened. Oh yeah. Why they gifted themselves a membership? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, J Jesus Girl, a.k.a. Julie A., in reference to the um, Arizona school vouchers, yeah. said, I wish they did that in Mississippi because I'm tired of my tax dollars going to a particular school near my house. There you go. Yep. Uh, I was trying to think if anything else has been going on. There's and no see, the, the thing about that is, is, I mean, teachers and schools, they hate that. Well, they hate it because they know they're a bad school. They know that. They know people want to get out there. If they, they pass that, they know they're shutting their doors and they're out of a job. And rightfully so. Right. Right. Uh, let's see. There you go. Yeah. There'll be a lot of people going live at the meetup. And that starts on what the 26th, 27th, and 28th, right? Is the meetup. We're going to be there the 25th. the 25th. Yes. We're staying an extra day. Yes. Hey, there's there's Tamara and David, Heartland Headquarters with Dink and Tank. I got them just in time for them to say everyone have a great evening. <laughs> Good night. Yes, Linda. And that's why Big Mike would could never run for office because... I would tell the truth and it would hurt people's feelings. They would think I'm the reincarnation of a certain person that sounds like thump. <laughs> um, the Moran experience. Hello. Yes. All right. So. We've got seven minutes left, guys. Glenda's here. We didn't say hi to Glenda. Did I we? did say hello did to Glenda. All and right. I told her that I mailed her oh, okay. t-shirt out. All right. I missed that somehow. And it's in hot pink. It is very pink. Very pink. Yes. That's right. She'd probably uh, say, I hate pink. Probably. <laughs> you just have to wear it on holidays. That's all. Yeah. Veterans Day. Memorial Day, and sometimes Labor Day, <laughs> or Easter. There you go. Easter, perfect. There you go. Yeah. Or if you have any grandbabies that are he, girls. She goes, ah, Sir Grace won't steal it then. <laughs> she said, I love pink. I love pink. Cool. It's a hot pink. Where's T. Mike B? It's stripper pink. Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. 
What? Hey, that there's one? Rebecca it's touched by yarn. Barbie pink. She goes, I have 126 scrubbies made. Bring them. She's bringing them to two. the 10 Pink killer, killer meetup. Yes. All right. And they're really awesome. I saw them. They're cool. <laughs> oh, Johnny went down there and got their camper from Deer Camp for the meetup. The tag was dated 2017. <laughs> well, if you get pulled over, said, hey, yeah. I thought we didn't have to tag our, our trailers. Right. And he'll go, they'll go, no, that's not. This is a camper. camper. <laughs> oh, I'm, I was confused. I'm old. See the white beard? I came down from the North Pole to come to the meetup. <laughs> <laughs> Making it home. Said so Joel pulled that stunt. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> I burned a couple of suppers and he said, oops. <laughs> oh, wait. Ginger said, Mike, you're emceeing the three hour giveaway. Didn't they tell you? Hey, I'll do it. <laughs> All I need is a young child to pull tickets. <laughs> there you go. The shield. And coming. it can't, yeah. it can't, it can't be Frankie. Because frankly, Frankie was being influenced by her her evil dad. Uh, there's the Shields couple. Hey, watching hello. from Singapore. Yes, the Shield couple. All right. Um, let's see. Am I missing anything? Oh, Butler Family Farm said that does work, Mike, until she goes away for a few days. Yeah. yeah. Then he has to do it. He's forced. I know where McDonald's is. I know where Steak and Shake is. Wheelers, Nichols, Happy Days, Fat Boys Breakfast Restaurant. I know where they're all at. <laughs> Cook up a mess of a meal there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Leanne said they felt an earthquake there last Friday. Oh, wow. wow. All right. Hey, is Scott in here? Hi, Scott. Somebody said hello to Scott. The only Scott I know. Well, it could be Scotty Too Hotty, but. I didn't see Scotty Too Hotty. No. Oh, there he is, rambling with the brooms. Hi. I'm the closer He's tonight. He's the closer. Yeah. Yep, we got three minutes left. Three minutes? And I'm at the bottom. Are I you made really? it all the way to the bottom. Uh, Reverend Drew, Mike, what will be the price of your t shirt? Got to get one when you sell them. They usually hit around 19 yeah, they're like somewhere around nineteen dollars. Like we don't make a whole lot off yeah. nothing. Yeah, because it's part of our membership with that, and we don't even use that. Uh, yeah, we don't even use Streamlabs anymore. anymore. We but just use it for the. Merch we just give store. them money. Yeah, so and, they can make shirts for. But us. they do a very good job with merch. Yeah, a very good job with merch. Yeah. All right. Well, Scotty, too hotty. Trying to think if we had anything else interesting. Nope. We, no. I mean, we can. Oh, talk. I was going to say prayers for Robertson's too. Robertson's belly acre, yes. They've got a lot on their plate. They got a lot on their plate, guys. I, I think that. If you go to their last live and then there's another video, I mean, there shouldn't be that much sorrow in one family. No. No. Yeah. And they're getting ready to go down to Corpus Christi, uh, where her mom is now uh, with her sister. Mm -hmm. um, so hello, Gladi and they're going to head down there because they need all the family there. Hello, Gladiatrix. She said, "I think, all right, she. I'm guessing. I think I found your channel on Pollyanna's. All right, live yes, stream. yes. Yep, I'm on hers every Friday, it's Saturday, and Sunday morning." She's down in Brazil. Yes. Pollyanna Sosa. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, I I don't I can't think of anything else. What were you gonna say before that? I was gonna say I love you. Oh well, I love you too. Okay. <laughs> Paul said Big Mike is big enough to be a poster board. <laughs> hey. There you go. Is that how you say it in England? Poster board. Poster board. Yeah. It's a billboard. Well, I mean, <laughs> they can't even say apartment. They have to say flat. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then the Australians use that word for coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, see. Who else? We got, we got, we got uh, one minute, guys. Yeah. Hey, and remember, after this, we go off the air. Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse is going live. He has an open mic. Go up there and talk about anything you want with him, within reason. Okay. And when you go over there, say, hey, MT Homestead sent me. Give him a bunch of red hearts. Okay, guys. Uh, and tell him, hey, we're here. Uh, it's a love raid. And guys, remember, be kind to one another. Help somebody in need and always, always think of that. All right, guys, we love you. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next video. Yeah. Uh, making it home asked, I heard that mama was ill. Has she gotten worse? Um, her, Mama's not so much, but. Her, Rachel's sister. Rachel's sister. Her mom is not leaving there. She's by her daughter's side. Yes. Um, and like I said, they called all the family down there and they're going down there. Yeah. And they did get some donations to help them out on, to get down there and stuff. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. All right. Hey. Love you guys. See you next Wednesday. Oh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, Sergeant's Talk TV. That's right. We have an open mic, our first open mic. Yeah. We want all veterans to come in there. Or you could be a dependent. You could be a spouse of a soldier. A uh, supporter. You could, a supporter. And tell us uh, about your service member, okay? Yes. They may not be here right now, but tell us about them, where they served at, where you served at, and uh, tell us your best story while you were in the military. There you go. All right, guys, that's what that's all about. Because my buddy, my battle buddy, Jason, at White Rock Nation is going to Tennessee. So he's going to be on the road. He'll be down there. I'll be here in Oklahoma, and we're going to still have a live. That's right. That's right. That's right. So we hope to see you then, guys. All right. All right. Hey, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way out yeah. before you go over to Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse. There you go. And then at 10 o'clock is Peter at Old Man King. Yes. If you're a night owl. There you go. All right. All right, guys. We love you. Love you. Bye. Oh, there's T. McD.